So if you load up your image plane into 3D Studio Max, <coughs> this is how it should look like. Uh, the dimensions are the same as uh, as um, as the actual reference image that I created. Um, when you load up your file, you should be at this stage already, so you should know how to do this now. The setup, so I'm not gonna make, I'm not gonna bother making you set it up. So it's already at this stage. Um, what you're gonna use these references for um, in the end is to have a result something similar to this. So that's the uh, yeah that's constructed using this very reference. So if I go into X-ray mode, you'll see that. Um, if I press control and sorry one sec um, there we go if I just move this this way select that and press con uh, alt and x and uh, that should make it um, see through so you can see how the topology is being aligned all the way around. And there, there's subtle differences in this area that I decided to change afterwards, uh, just out of reference. But yeah, you can see it's pretty much running along uh, the topology of the reference plate that I made in the beginning. So you know, uh, uh, what I'll do is I'll, I'll hide this one for now, so I can show you how how you start off um, doing this. So what we'll do is um, we'll start off with the um, spline model. So first, first what I'll do is I'll hide this, uh, hide selection, and we'll go into this menu here, and you'll see that it says splines. So keeping in that mind, I'm gonna hit on to the line tool, and what I'll do is firstly um, I'll draw out a line from here. Just try to follow it around all the way. Um, try to make it in the center, but you can always adjust this once it's done. So, in case you don't get it into the center, you can adjust it. So that's one of our lines. So if I go into modify tool and just say um, there's a bit that I want to adjust that I'm not happy with, so select that. You can press W and uh, move it back into its original place or where you want it to be where you want it exactly so you can adjust these so once you've got them um, adjusted also create another line and this time uh, the idea is that you um, will do the center bit we'll leave these uh, middle bits and uh, middle bit and uh, and the side bit for now we'll just concentrate on the green zone and the red zone um, so I'm going to do the same thing uh, what I just did uh, this time I'm gonna go again create a line uh, it's gonna be from here so I'm gonna click away at that and that's pretty much gonna give me my um, what, what I'm looking for again go into vertex mode just in case I'm, I just wanna adjust this slightly well, you're gonna be adjusting throughout the whole thing so even if it's not super accurate you don't worry about it for now and just just get it roughly the bit where you want it. Because I've done this tutorial a few times, I know exactly uh, what's going to be problematic later on. So I'm adjusting them now. Um, so we've got these two lines now. Um, I'll I'll cut this video short from now, uh, from this point, um, because I don't want the videos to be really long. I want them quite short each time, so you can go through them. Uh, so I'll see you in the next video.